morning everybody from 3080 the western star it's gonna be our first day in our old truck first day with a brand new engine in this truck i'm tasked with breaking it in i'm not too sure what that means so we're we're gonna be gentle but they told me to really break it in so maybe they really want me to gun it i don't know i'm gonna be nice to the truck uh, this is the truck i used to be in way back in the day in uh 2014 i think i was in here for about three years i put the first 400,000 or 300,000 400,000 kilometers on this truck uh, i got into it when there was like 20 kilometers on and now there is 984,000 kilometers on it almost 500,000 miles and so uh someone else has been in this truck for the last several or last four years i think and i don't know what happened but the engine blew up so they had to put a brand spanking new engine in this truck. So we've checked it out, all the fluid levels are doing good. We're gonna take this thing down to Thief River Falls, drop an empty step deck there, grab a loaded one, bring it back. We'll see how the truck is doing at that point. I'll probably be in this truck for a few days while we get some kilometers on the engine, and then they're gonna do a service and an inspection on it just to make sure everything is running properly. School zone. 30 kilometers an hour, Trucker Josh. Think of the children. 30 kilometers an hour. We're here in St. Pierre. Just sneaking through here like a sneaky snake. Silently sneaking through. We're a silent sneaky snake. This truck is so quiet. I got used to that Peterbilt very quick again. <laughs> We were talking about this the other day, right? Make trucks sound like trucks again. This truck almost sounds electric, it's so quiet, especially when you close the window. Turn off the fan. Hey, gas is a cent cheaper in St. Pierre than it is in Steinbeck. Huh. How come you guys get cheaper gas? Here's our World War II memorial I was talking about the other day. I believe. We got one in Steinbeck too. I think it's a World War I and II memorial. And I was saying the other day, I really hope we never have to build a World War III memorial. But if everybody would just calm down and keep all arms and legs inside the ride and inside their own country. <laughs> everything would just be a lot more peaceful. But that's not the world we live in, is it? Everybody's always messing with everybody else. Hey, and we're not innocent either. We go around messing with other people. Well, that's just the name of the game, I guess. You just gotta remember, you gotta remember, you go around messing in other people's business, eventually people are gonna come and mess around in your business, okay? So. I don't know where I'm going with that. I was talking about how quiet this truck was. I don't like it. I like the truck, don't get me wrong. I like the truck. It's I like these Western Stars, especially this one. This one has a lot of memories. I was in this truck for years. I was its first driver. Now we're reunited back together again. Through the gate we go. Load number two. It's been a long day. So this truck's got a brand new motor in it. And uh, on the way back from my first load, the engine light came on. Something to do with the intake. So the shop had to take it in for about an hour or two between loads. They got it fixed and it's been running great. But uh, you know, that's why I'm breaking it in. We're not taking it too far away from the yard before we put a highway driver in it. Uh, just so that, you know, circumstances like that, we can quickly fix her up and you know, get this engine broken in properly and everything else. Load number two, we're headed back. Anybody want a Dodge Charger? There's one for sale here in Thief River at the petrol pumper. Just uh, quickly going to uh, run in here, grab a coffee and some kind of supper. I am definitely gonna need some supper. Why is this guy parked where the trucks are supposed to be parked? Huh. That's okay. 
All right. Wonderful. I don't want to stop too long. I don't have much time. That's all the time I got to get to the border. Two hours and 28 minutes. That's my 14 hours. So, uh, I think I need about an hour and a half to get to the border to two hours. So we don't have too much wiggle room here. We've got ourselves a rattle. Something's rattling in this truck. You hear that? So we're at the Canadian border right now, just waiting to cross along with all of these fine folks. You know, something needs to be explained to me because I, I don't understand. Uh, when you cross into Canada from the US, sometimes here at the Pemberda Emerson Crossing, Sometimes they, there's like a customs agent or a customs border patrol agent at the exit of the US. So before we get to the Canadian line, there's a little booth and sometimes they direct you to this little booth and they ask you questions as if you were entering the US, but you're leaving the US. So you answer all your questions and then they let you go forward and then you get to the Canadian booths where they re-ask you all the same questions and then let you into Canada. My question is, why do they do that when leaving the US here at this port of entry? Other ports of entry never do that. And on the Canadian side, we never do that. That's what the border window is for, right? Why, why do they ask us questions when we're leaving at this one? Does anyone know what I'm talking about? Let me know in the comment section if you know the reason for that. Because this is the only port of entry that I know of that does that. They stop you bef right before you leave. I'm like, it's just strange to me because no, I don't know. Maybe someone can explain it. The light is still purple, if you're wondering. This whole week has been uh, long days. It's quarter end, so I guess that might have something to do with it. Or maybe not, what do I know? <laughs> I'm okay with it though. I don't mind. Gotta get her done, right? Don't go home until the work is done. finish the work and then you go home and if you don't have time to relax and have fun well <laughs> maybe tomorrow we'll be back here to do it all over again tomorrow so maybe after work well tomorrow's Friday but I might have to come in on Saturday they already warned me but hey then I have Sunday off I'm not gonna be working Sunday so uh, there's a day off Just sleep in hey if this whole IVF thing goes the way we want it to and we become parents I'm never gonna get to sleep in again for years so I will enjoy it every possible chance I get. Even if it's just one day a week, I will sleep in. Unless there's work to do, then I will get the work done. I'm tired. I'm just gonna drop this trailer in the yard here and go home. Go straight to, well, hop in the shower, then go straight to bed. It's been one of those weeks. It's almost done though. Uh, drop my paperwork off here and then we'll uh worry about that later hey everybody it's me again back in the shop here I just wanted to wrap this up uh because it was such a long day I worked almost a 16 hour day 
<coughs> Excuse me, so I didn't have time to uh, wrap it all up at the end of the day And I just wanted to let you know so we did two trips with 3080 and there was a few issues that they're gonna have to work out on it I did one trip and on the way back engine light popped on it said air intake Malfunction detected or something like that something about the air intake uh, so I brought it to the shop they sealed it up they found the leak in the air intake sealed it up cleared the engine light took it on a second trip down a thief river engine light popped on again same thing air intake problems uh, so at the end of the day i brought it back parked it there for them and let the shop know hey same thing happening engine light came on i put about 1100 kilometers on the truck or 650 miles or so and tomorrow we'll be jumping back into the peterbilt but uh, i was expecting to be in the western star for a little bit longer but they want to, I assume they want to take a closer look at why the engine light popped on for the air intake twice. Uh, both under 500 kilometers each, so both, before I got to 300 miles, it, it, both times it clicked on, so there's obviously something going on there. And you know, that's just sort of be expected. They just put a brand new motor in there and there could be issues. And this is exactly why they wanted me to take it for a spin. So tomorrow we'll be back in uh, 3006. In the Peterbilt. I'm, I'm kind of happy about that. I like I like the Peterbilt. The Western Stars are nice. It's nice to have a sleeper behind me, but nothing beats a nice Pete. You know? Kenworth, too. I'm a Kenworth and Pete. I, I have a little bit of a bias, and I have to let you guys know that. I love my Peterbilts. I love my Kenworths. My dream truck is a Kenworth W900. That is my... It's just... That is the ultimate truck. Sort of like that flag up there represents the ultimate hockey team on the face of the planet. Am I right? Am I right? Of course I'm right. I'm the one making the vlog, so you can't even argue with me. Ha! So thanks for watching today, everybody. Just wanted to uh, let you know how it went. The truck ran really good. The engine ran really good. They did a great job putting it in by the sounds of it, by the looks of it, everything was working like it was supposed to. Uh, it's just the engine light and the air intake. Something's going to have to be figured out there. Thanks for watching. See you tomorrow.